Hey guys, welcome to my garden update for this week. Now this video takes place in the past two weeks. I didn't upload anything new last week and today is the first time I've got a chance. So this is some bounty that I've gotten and I'm going to show you everything that's went on in the past 14 days. All right, let's get started. Well, good morning. Hello, beautiful squash plant. Oh my goodness, y'all. She's looking really good and I'm not going to jinx it. So let's move on. All right. So let's go over here. I planted some seeds. I have cucumber and I have squash. Then over here are some plants that I already have. Let's go out here and look at the first, the original garden and see how my okra and green beans are doing. Now the plants are coming up good. I've only had one of the okra plants to die, but my green beans aren't coming up too good. I think I had planted eight and they're not looking too good, but we're going to plant some more. My romaine lettuce seeds are almost ready to pick. We're going to wait a few more days though. Let's go over here to the other garden and see what it's doing. Now these vertical zucchini plants are looking really really good i have to give all the credit to papa ridge and i'm gonna try and leave a link for his um channel so y'all can get some ideas on what to do in your garden too everything else looks good and healthy my zinnias my okra over here is doing really good now i do have one plant one zucchini plant that's still on the ground but my Zucchini is looking rather delicious right now. I can't wait to start getting some more fruit off of it. Let's look at there. We see we have some growing and we're just going to let it be so it can continue to grow beautifully. And we're going to come out here and trim away some of these leaves too. All right, now we're going to walk over here to the cucumbers and everything looks good right now. You can see everything looks good and healthy. Now I still have some of those black bugs flying around and I did manage to come out here and get rid of a lot of them, but I'm gonna trim back some of these leaves and that is probably where I messed up at because you see these spots, you, see, you don't see any spots right now, but in a couple of days, you're gonna see some. I see a couple, so maybe that was blight starting to start, but um, within the next week or so, it's going to look totally different. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this cucumber because it's turning yellow a little bit really early. Now, these right here are supposed to get a whole lot bigger. Then they won't turn yellow, but I've been picking mine earlier because I don't want the really big, big seeds. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. I wanted to show y'all that I cut away all these extra vines today from my cucumber plants. I want to grow cucumbers, not vines. I think I lost one, two, three, only three. So the ones that weren't producing cucumbers, I went on ahead and cut back. And this is what it looks like. Now I did lose some leaves yesterday because those bugs were um, on it. Look at there. Got a little baby up there. And this right here, on two plants, I left three stems. That's three, and that's three right there. And the other two, I left two each. But we got a lot of cucumbers going, so I don't want to mess with those. So, since today is a holiday, I'm not going to be doing any work in the garden today. Even though that ground is real good and soft over there, I could if I wanted to, but I'm not. So, um... I'm probably going to come out here this weekend because I do have to work and shoot some footage for y'all and let you see what it looks like when I get in the garden and do some work. But until then, I'm not doing anything today. So I'll see you guys the next time. Well, good morning. Isn't it beautiful out here? <laughs> I love this type of day. It rained a pretty good bit yesterday. Wow. Look at these seeds that are coming up. I planted these 
last week. I forgot what day, but um, I planted them and they're coming up. We have Asian cucumbers. We have pickling cucumbers. We have yellow squash and zucchini back there. I plant it so much because, um, you know, you're not gonna always get every seed to uh, germinate. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough to last me through the fall, okay? Because my um, cucumbers, ah, oh, they look in kind of a certain kind of way. So I wanted to give them to have some more. Look at that right there. This right here, mint is really, really uh, resistant. It grows. I told y'all I cut it all the way down a few weeks back and it's already looking good again, unlike my sage. Now these right here are my beefsteak tomatoes. And I planted two seeds in each pod and looks like I have eight. So they're gonna, they're, they're about ready to go in the garden, in the ground, because I love tomatoes. And these are the cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna keep these over here in the elevated bed because I don't wanna be bending over. And I do have four. We'll see how many. That one, I don't think it's gonna do anything. I don't think it's gonna be good, but I'm gonna plant it over here anyway. Or I put, might put two over here and two in a grow bag. These right here, I don't know what this is, y'all. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. Look at there, though. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna plant it in the garden, too. It's either cucumber or squash. I think it's cucumber, though. That parsley is looking so much better. I know I have some dead, like a spider bin out here too, some dead ones at the bottom. I'm not gonna pull those off. I'm gonna leave those because when I pull those off, some more die. So I've been keeping it watered. I'm gonna have to come out here with my little bug stuff in a little bit. My peppers are doing good. I've been watering every day. And with that rain last night, it looks really good. Look at this right here, little baby. Just look. Look close down there. I need to put some seven dust down there. But this little baby that I worked on, um, she came back. She came back. I'm so glad I didn't give up on her. Because any other time, I probably would have just snatched it up. So I'm beginning to think that it's something that I have in here, in these planters that killed my sage. Uh, I'll have to start over and see what we do. Or, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll put something else in it, or I don't know. Beautiful. Beautiful rosemary. These little great blades of grass keep on coming up. I don't want you in here. They always come right in the middle. Green beans are doing good. Looks like I need to maybe pick a few today. I like them when they're about that size. Because the more you pick, the more you're supposed to get. But I've not gotten a whole lot. I've been saving what I have been getting, though. Flowers down there, so it's going to be coming. Hmm. hadn't got much. Oh yeah. So now it's time for me to start putting some phosphorus out on these uh, okra plants. Look at that. We got one already. These ants. I'm gonna bring me some sudsy water out here and put on these right here because I don't want these tearing up my darn okra. Look at that. Time to pick that one. I didn't think that the okra being that, the, the plant being that small would produce okra, but I have pods on those. My flowers are doing good. This one not getting no sun because I need to come out here and prune it and get these eggs out of here. 
That's a good size looking zucchini. I gotta make sure I don't have any squash vine borer damage. Good morning. I told you I was recording, Lauren. Where's your sister? <laughs> Look at this one here. Let's see what we have. Got a bee down in there. Yellow jacket. And we got some squash growing over here. Looks like we got more male than female. I'm gonna get rid of these leaves. Is this living? Oh yeah, it's living. Oh, I'm, I'll be back out here with you, baby. Boo boo. I've got two good squash right there. Oh yeah, we got some over here. Mm-hmm. So these look good and healthy. That stem looks really good and healthy. Really good and tough. Uh, I'm trying to see if, debate if I want to stake it up a little bit. I don't know. Let's check this one out. I'm going on with that one. Oh yeah, I got some damage over here still. That's damage right there. So I'm gonna have to do some work on that one today before I lose the plant. I don't know what keep on happening over here. This darn thing keep on falling over. Uh, maybe the... No, honey. I'll be able to that in a minute. Maybe it's, it's heavy or something, but we ain't been getting no wind for this thing to be getting knocked over. And it's heavy. Shoot, so how in the heck did you get knocked over? This is the pink lemonade blueberries that I didn't get anything on. I just bought this this year. Um, I don't see any flower. I'm going to have to put some over here. Look at all this. All the spider webs right there. But I don't know what keep knocking this darn thing over. And it's the same one. <clears throat> but it's dead. It's, it's dying back. I guess the ones that are looking the worst are the ones that are gone that are spent that won't be producing anything next year because you have a two-year lifespan for your blackberries for each stem i got some blackberries still over here on those this is this year's plant but we'll get that staked up too and look like we're gonna have to uh, take the tip off of that one so i can start spreading some roots out got to cut it back once it gets over six feet <laughs> so if y'all go to bed, if y'all had went to bed last night when I told you to, you would be up and bright this morning. But good thing, the garden that you're going to maintain don't have a lot. Did you see the other hole over here, Lauren? You, huh? You forgot what? Today. Okay. Well, you're supposed to start going to bed anyway, like you're supposed to. Then you'd be up. We have two holes out here. Okay, Layla, let me hear you. I'm gonna show you what to do. Now, since I came over here already and got rid of most of this grass and leaves, it's gonna make your job really easy. So, the thing you have to do is come over here and do this right here where you see grass. Not my plants. So, just kill the grass that you see, dead it up. Uh -huh. And then, when you get finished killing all the grass, smooth it back out. So you're not taking no dirt out of the garden. Okay. Just smooth it back out like that. Because the grass is going to be dead. Okay. That's your area. All right, Lauren. Plants are very over here in this garden, so... You have to just kill the grass. And it's not that bad. So once you kill the grass, you 
smooth it back down. Okay? Mm -hmm. See what it do? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't see any? You can't see any weeds? Huh? <laughs> you don't see that grass, Layla? Mm -hmm. You don't see the grass and weeds? Yes. Anything that's not a... Pl say what? Tired. You tired? You should have went to bed last night. I told you you was getting up early this morning. Let's go. Get this done. It ain't going to take that long. You can go back in there and go to bed. So, get the... That's fine with me. Uh, Did I get there too? Yes. Get at the whole garden, Layla. You don't see the grass? Don't get my beans. Don't get the plants. That's a bean. No, it's not. That's a grass. Because I'm not how to flatten it. You do what? Just smooth it back out when you're finished. I'll be back. Don't, do not hoe up my darn plant. Do you see the okra on, coming on those plants already? Huh? You see the okra? Look. Okra. Okra, that one ready to come off. <laughs> I'll leave it on until, until later on today. <sighs> Something going on with my cucumber plants. I know they shouldn't be spent already. That's okay. We got some more coming. See that little joker? They eat them. I got three cucumbers out of the garden yesterday. I'm going to get that one out too. My tomato tomatoes are growing bigger all right so let's get to working over here and look at these cherry tomatoes that one has a lot more red i took that one out that right there was ripe and i didn't get it off yesterday and i've got a lot turning and a lot getting bigger oh y'all this is how far i've got in this bed today so I got most of that side done. I cut back some of these suckers and stems from the strawberries, I mean, from the um, tomato plants that were not necessary. I've got to get this patch over here of grass tomorrow because the sun done came out and I'm done. I didn't think it was gonna come out. I thought it was gonna be overcast all day long, but we still got plenty of clouds out here. But um, the sun's done peaked over from back there on that side, so. We're done for the day. I come out here early in the morning. It is 10.07 right now. So the sun stayed hid from me for a long time. Thank you, God. This is what I've harvested today. I knocked a couple of these uh, green ones down, but I see that I've got one of them splitting a little bit. Where is it? Right there. Can you see the rings around those? It's getting ready to split because we don't had a lot of rain the last few days, more than we've usually been getting. And this one is cracked right there a little bit. But that's okay because I'm going to make a tomato sandwich out of this one today. And these cucumbers, I went on ahead and picked those. But that's it for today. Whew. It's another hot day. Look at there. I don't have anything coming other than leaves. So I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but it's it's a healthy plant again. Green beans, looking ugly, but okay. So this is just my little update for today. 
Let's go out here and see what we got. I need to put my, hmm, that cucumber is not looking too good. I believe the sun is beating them to death because I've been watering them regularly. Look at this hair. tomatoes because these little bugs are sucking them dry they trying to anyway so i'm gonna get these and get them out the garden and then i'm going to put my netting back over it put my shade cloth back over it but even if it look like blight has got on my cucumber over there that's happened in a few days this side is looking good I'm going to go ahead and get this okra. I've never seen okra. That small of a plant with all these ants on it have okra on it that I can cook. But I'm going to go ahead and get it so it won't get hard. Yeah. I'm getting all this okra. These are looking wonderful. I love that I decided to go ahead and give it a try for this uh, elevated or, wait a minute, to have my squash going vertically. I'm glad I did that this year. Got some babies down there. So I have four squash plants, zucchini, and these here cucumbers looking bad, but I got some more going. So that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna let that sun go down a little bit. I never did get back over here. This is all the grass I gotta get out of here, y'all. And then it'll be completely free of grass. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray them to get these bugs off of here. I'm gonna go get me some blight spray too and put and spray it and see if that'll help. This right here is what I'm using. Captain Jack's copper fungicide or fungicide however you want to say it's ready to use all you got to do is spread on the leaves the front and the back it helps powdery mildew black spot downy mildew and early blight that's what i think is going on i put some 07 dust on my vines my stems of my <laughs> of my um zucchini so that's gonna help to keep those squash vine borers away. Like I need to put that one up a little bit, but I'll do that another day, it's too hot. I put my shade cloth back out. I don't know if it'll help with the uh, blight that my cucumbers have caught, but that's okay. I gave them a treatment with that spray and we will see in a couple of days if they are gonna die. But I got some more babies coming, so all is not lost. Cause I do still have some cucumbers on them. And I do still have my tomatoes coming in, but I think a worm been digging in them a little bit too. But that's okay. That's okay. Cause I got some succession, succession plants growing. So when those are spent, we gotta replace them. So this is what I picked today. This beautiful okra. I haven't washed anything off. These are little bitty plants, so they're real close to the ground. I've never seen any little plants like that giving off okra so quick. But those are my cherry tomatoes. They are delicious. I'm going to put these up. Y'all, I could actually cry. Look. Came out here today to check on my babies. And look. I don't know what happened. It must have snapped. I had it properly supported. Oh my God, I, I guess I didn't. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is such a beautiful plant. Ooh. Oh, that's why I'll tell you the truth. Okay, so I made sure that the two that are remaining are staked up pretty good. I didn't think that it was that top heavy. God. Hey, I'm so disappointed because after you managed to keep these things alive from the squash vine borers, I had that big one right there and another one coming. I'm just so disappointed. I wonder if any, if there's any way I could put that in the ground and save it. 
Oh my gosh. That's terrible. My okra is coming up good. That's still good. So this is the harvest that I got on the 14th of July. Okra, all the tomatoes that were ripe, the big ones and the cherry tomatoes. And I added a little bit more cherry tomatoes, what I had in the refrigerator. I put these in a glass jar to keep them fresh. And this is what I gave to Sierra, cucumbers, zucchini, and tomatoes. Pillows are everywhere out here. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Uh oh. Oh my God. I hope this isn't broke. We had a good shower today and uh, we got some rain finally this week. Rain pretty good. So let's go out here. Okay, first of all, let me say, let me pick these pillows up, that um, I didn't post last week on a Monday, which I had started posting every Monday for my garden updates. But I didn't post last Monday, and I didn't post this past Monday. Today is Wednesday, and we're going to get you guys a video updated. All right, so this is my messy gazebo. Y'all should be used to my mess by now. But let's go over here and see. Look, the grass is still wet. Oh, we had a good shower today. So let's see what we're doing over here. Okay, so this right here, these, this is my romaine, the red romaine lettuce. On a good hot day when everything is dry these are opened up so I think I'm gonna wait a couple of days for it to dry again and I'm gonna pick some of these um, seeds okay because the seeds are inside there look at how good this is doing this is my pole green beans and I'm gonna have to end up coming out here and putting some more seeds down because they didn't the ones I put down didn't really take they died out I guess it was too dry whatever so I had three originally, then my guy who cut the grass cut that one right there. So I had two, so there's only two more. I need to plant a whole lot more so they can catch up and be about that big. I don't think that one seed is gonna give me what I'm looking for. My okra, that one died right there. Got bent over some kind of way, but it's dead. But the rest of them are looking good. We're gonna look at my two garden spots before uh, I look at the porch. Oh my goodness. I, oh my God. I lost one of my zucchinis. The one that was right there. Looks like I'm losing another one. Oh my gosh. From that rain today. Let me pick. Let me see if I can pick it up and give it some um, support. Okay. So I lifted it. All right. So I lifted it back up. It was just knocked over from the rain we had today. So you have to come out here when you have these things um, elevated, when they are vertical, you have to come out here and check and make sure you're moving your support. And this is my support twine that I have. You have to move it up because if you don't, you're gonna lose the tops of your plants. Like with this one here that happened this week. All the rest of them are doing good. My zinnias are doing good. They had looked like they were a little ugly and dry at one time, but they've came back up. I've been putting my seven dust down to make sure the moth vine borers don't get these things and keeping the roots covered. And everything looks good. So I'm gonna come out here in the morning and get some of this okra. Cause we've got some big pieces out here. And look at that, that looks beautiful. So I'm still getting zucchini when a lot of people haven't. My, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this, this is done for and the rain that came today, this is the cucumber plants that have caught blight. So I'm gonna have to come out here and get rid of them and put the new ones down. This is a yellow zucchini. That's right there. I'm gonna have to get all that ugliness out of there. So let's see, look at that. I need to get these cherry tomatoes up. I got another tomato here. Let's get these cages straightened out because the wind, I had the, the pins over there on the gate and 
the rain today just knocked it over out here out the way. All right, so let's take a look at the plants I have over here. Now this right here is my parsley that is beautiful. And let me show you, when I get ready to harvest these, I'm gonna be taking these tall stalks because you can see down here, we have some more little ones that's growing, that's coming in. So we can go ahead and harvest these tall ones right here. And I'm gonna have a video showing you how to harvest and how to dry your parsley in the oven. These are the cherry tomatoes. That one looks real good. This one right here got kind of knocked over from the rain, like I told you. So I put this little stake in here and it's a popsicle stick. I put this stake in here. So maybe that'll give it some support if it will live. I hope so. If not, I have one right here and I have two more right here. This right here is beef steak. I hope I'll get some, get a harvest from it before October, the first frost in October. My mint is doing wonderful. Okay, so these right here are the plants that I'm gonna be putting in the garden tomorrow. Okay, these are the pickling cucumbers. And out of six seeds, four of them came up. I have my steak right there, naming them. These right here are the Asian cucumbers. Only one seed came up that's okay because I have five plants in all okay this is the yellow squash that came up and some of the leaves are turning that means I need to go ahead and get them in the ground and it's missing some nitrogen nutrient or something but that's okay I'll get them in the ground these are more zucchinis the leaves are yellowing but these are not the true leaves right here that's yellow the green leaves are good that's what you go by so I'm gonna put those in the garden tomorrow these I think are beefsteak tomatoes I can't remember what these two are I think they're cucumber that I put put in the ground, put that I started for Sierra, but she never came and got them. So I'm gonna put those in the ground too. I don't know, but we'll see whatever we have. This is the rosemary that I harvested today because you do the cut and come again where you cut it and it continues to grow. And I'm gonna dry that tomorrow too and get a video of it. This is what I harvested today, the cucumbers, and the okra i think this is the last cucumber i'm going to get from the plants that i have in the ground now because it has the blight so that's probably the last one i'm going to get i showed you my um i showed you the zucchini plant that snapped in the garden i brought the top of it over here and i put it in some good soil with some compost and the leaves the stems sound good i'll see if that leaf if new leaves keep coming up but they haven't died that's flowers down there. So I hope the root system will reestablish itself. Would you look at this <laughs> blade of grass? Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't keep this out of here. I'm probably not pulling it up at the root. Maybe that did at that time. Maybe it won't come back, but I see some more. Okay, so this is what I had in the garden. I had to bring it over here because it wasn't doing good over there. But back to this right here. You see that big, beautiful zucchini that was coming up? It probably won't do anything. I probably had to put it in my compost bin, but I just bought everything over here and repotted it. Green beans are not looking so good. Uh, still got some flowers though. But look at this right here, baby. Look at my baby. I'm so proud of this. And I hope I can continue to be proud. Look about there. Look at that. I don't see anything down there. I've been putting my seven dust on it. I'm gonna leave it bushy, just like this, because I don't wanna I don't wanna risk I don't wanna see anything. Okay, I might be scared to go up under there because every time I look under there to cut some of these leaves off, I find more squash vine borer frass. So I'm gonna leave it like this till tomorrow. It's really good and cool out here today because it did cool down. My peppers are doing good. Maybe they're gonna be small this year. They're usually really a whole lot bigger than this. Y'all see that? I move that leaf out the way. And it's turning already. So I've got a pretty good bit of little bells. That's what I like to call them. Got a pretty little bit, good bit of bells on here right now and more bells are coming. Cause the flowers are there looking beautiful but let's go out here right quick and show you where i put the shade cloth back up okay so it looks a mess out here i know <laughs> let's go up under here pull this baby back up some get your butt back up there what are you doing I'm trying to talk to you to your sister <sighs> okay i need to take some of these off i get these in the morning though so i have some little ones too though I still have little ones coming up. I fed them. I've been trying to keep them alive and I've gotten some delicious, delicious tomatoes off of these plants. 
So I'm really satisfied with what's going on. Let's, let's go over here and see what's going on right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Can you see I got some babies under there? I got a really good one, I see. That one don't look too good. I need to get this dang grass off and under there. That yellow zucchini plant looks really good. I'm gonna have to put some more seven dust down so the darn boar won't get it. But anyway, from the storm we had today, it really tore off my netting or my shade cloth. I put it back up and it'll stay on from now to eternity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm gonna come out here in the morning and get those tomatoes and pull those ugly uh, cucumber plants up. I'll decide what I wanna let stay. I don't know if I want to let one of these plants stay. I might end up letting this one stay so this one can develop the seeds because all of them have blight. All four plants have blight, but the youngest one looked the best. So we're gonna start all over with those. But thank goodness I went on ahead and planted me some more seeds last month and we're about ready. We're gonna put them in the garden tomorrow.